Sound check, sound check. Sound check, Madison Brooks reporting. I'm not getting any sound. What the, what the hell is it? Did you just lick my ear? It works. What the? Ew! Go live. Going live. Sound check. Sound check good. Okay. Senator John McCain was a serious man who seriously knew how to laugh. Here's Jeannie Moss. He called his campaign bus the Straight Talk Express. Why are we handing this out? <laughs> But a lot of what he expressed was humor. Whether it was poking fun at his opponent, then presidential candidate Obama. Maverick I can do, but Messiah is above my pay grade. <laughs> or getting nabbed on camera, playing poker on his phone during a Senate debate. Occasionally I get a lethal bored. Just a year and a half ago, Senator McCain was horsing around like a teenager, making devil ears laying out a series of demands. Behind CNN reporter Manu Raju, McCain then tweeted out the moment, after all these years, revenge, more devil horns behind his fellow senator from Colorado. Senator John McCain. And then there were all those SNL appearances, never funnier than when. McCain sings strength. People. said Streisand had tried to do his job talking politics, so he decided to try hers. Papa, can you see me? Pretty annoying, huh? Barbara wasn't annoyed. After his death, she referenced the SNL act in a tweet and called him a good man, a good senator. He even let SNL joke about his then running mate going rogue. Available now, we got a bunch of these. Senator McCain's attempts at humor sometimes blew up on it. Remember this? Ba, 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 ba. Senator McCain did when someone asked him about punishing Iran. That old Beach Boy song, Bomb Iran. <laughs> bomb, bomb, bomb. He made movie and TV cameos playing himself. Excuse me, I just need to get my coat Could here. Could you give me a minute here, please? He made fun of himself. <laughs> I wish the guy would shut up. <laughs> no wonder he laughed so easily, he considered himself to be one of Are the luckiest people. Genima, CNN, in the world. New York. Sweetwater police say they welcome some of the panel's recommendations, but money will be a key factor as to whether or not they'll be implemented. But one thing money can't buy is your mama. She's for free and everybody knows it. Robert Gilmartin, New Center 7, Sweetwater. Parts Thursday and Friday, 60 and 62. I'll let you know if those days could possibly be dry and sunny or if they're just warmer than it has been in just a few minutes. All right, Chris, thank you. One that to go on until about 6 o'clock. Reporting at Farmingdale State College. Where am I? State College. They say... <laughs> <laughs> Blooper reel. It's that kind of a day. Why wouldn't it be? Now this just in, police uh, officers in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, were asking people to be on the lookout for a man who robbed a store. And I think, yeah, I think we do, we do have his description. Can we take that? Let's take his description. Okay. This is the guy. They're, uh, they wanted, they wanted people in Pennsylvania to be out on the lookout for. There it is. Get a good look for yourself. Oh, and now I'm getting word that police actually caught this guy. Thanks to the sketch, no doubt. So, here's a picture of the real guy next to the sketch that led to his arrest. Where's the pointy chin? It's uncanny, Lisa. I don't know. You don't know? Demis told me to do it. Who told you to do it? The Demis. Rodney Stenger, seen here. Well, no, this is not Rodney Stanger, obviously. Well, okay, so how often do you take a shower? A new study says a daily shower is not necessary. Oh. In fact, they say it could increase your risk of an infection. All right, so this is according to researchers from Columbia University. They do know their stuff. They say excessive <laughs> showering can reduce skin hydration, leaving it dry and cracked. That's why there's lotion, though. Mm -hmm. Uh, anyway, they also say bad bacteria can get into those cracks, and good bacteria often gets washed away. But what about other cracks that need to be? <laughs> oh. 
I'm just saying. Especially if you work out, like you gotta keep yourself clean. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, it's been around a long time, um, and as a result, it does take quite a long time to make change, even with the best will in the world. Melbourne, Daytona Beach, all the way up to Jacksonville. This moves 20 miles to the west, and you and everyone you know are dead. All of you. Because you can't survive it. It's not possible, unless you're very, very lucky. And your kids die, too. Time's up. That's what Florida's Governor Rick Scott said this morning. You live in this great state. You love being here. It's paradise. Now you got to go. Got to go. Got to evacuate from these areas. We've told you these are the areas where you must evacuate. If you live in that area, you must evacuate. It's a rule. But not everybody's listening. Because freedom and stuff. Freedom. Tell that to the cop who has to come dig you out. What about that cop's freedom? You love law enforcement until all of a sudden you put them in jeopardy. Think about it. Come on now. We'll be live all night long tonight. I won't be because I'm going to a family wedding. So if you're supposed to get out, go ahead and get out. Because if too many of you perish, they'll send me down there. And I need to go to this wedding. Okay? Thanks. Now to sport with Meredith Sheen. This is huge for D.C. D.C. needed this. We got some asshole in the fucking White House right now. Oh, no, 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 no. Tens of thousands of women have signed up to sell LuLaRoe leggings. You've seen them, they, those buttery smooth leggings with the funky... <laughs> I'm sorry you just said buttery smooth leggings. <laughs> I was thinking that to say that. <laughs> because of the network of consultants, some of those consultants now stuck with unsold merchandise and they want out. John Matrice talked with one woman who says getting out is not so easy. Shooting to believe even upper 70s in some places around the region, so that will be very nice. Future cast again overnight tonight, not much happening. It is going to be quiet, some high clouds again skirting across the area tomorrow. A lot of what you see on there is just going to be high cloudiness, not thicker cloud cover that's going to produce any rain. I am going to up the chance of rain a little bit on Sunday to around 20%. Late day, there might just be an isolated shower, ah, but most of us are going to be fine. All right, let's talk lows tonight. It is going to be... How long have you been stuck here? Uh, about 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Yep. And you were walking up and down. What did you see when you went up there? Did you talk to some of those people that were waiting as well? Yeah, I did. I thought I was going to be a little slick and try to take the shoulder all the way in, but didn't work. Lots of flooding here. You don't know when you're going to be able to get up there, huh? No, I got a bag of pork grinds in the truck, and I reckon I'm just going to stay out here and eat my pork grinds and hang out might take a nap for a little while and relax a little yeah. bit yeah okay. yeah well thank you so much to talk for talking to us hey, thank hopefully you. you get soon you get by pretty thank soon you. and this is what we're seeing here I recovered it's a big relief Now, the homeowner in this most recent case says this whole situation is bittersweet for him. As you can imagine, he's sad that his family had to go through this, but he's happy to see that this situation got these young criminals off the street. Reporting in Lee County tonight, Lisa Greenberg, Fox 4, in your... Ich bin mir etwas unklar, wie ich jetzt weitermachen soll. Jetzt die Nombi. Now, Rusty, let me just close out by asking you this, and that is, what did you do know with it to what we have, of course, here at ACOG? And one of the things that Billy Payne asked me, what we have, of course, with the, the others, it might be something that with the transportation area, or is that something that's just not trickled down to y'all particular department yet? Uh, hasn't quite trickled down, I believe. Yeah, because it takes a while, because, you know, it comes from all directions. And, and one of the things in the communication strategy, and, of course, that's one of the areas that that I've been concentrating on is to hand it in the with it till on a one-to-one -one basis. It might be uh, leading to, if you could just walk into that, to what we have too. Uh, can you repeat that question? Sure. That last part? Yeah. Yeah. Got you know, the with it, of course, too. Uh, the last part of that question you right. asked. You, the, whole did you part, the whole question would be, a, a, can you repeat that whole question? Oh, sure, no problem. Rusty, and I can call you Rusty, right? Yes, you can. Firefighters say that the... Uh, You're the, on private property. Fuck. <laughs> 